I find very useful to uh, to trade on a, on, on a daily basis and educate at the same time. Because when I talk to people and try to teach them about the market and what might be good trades and what might be bad trades, what might be you know given tips, uh, what the mistakes are, doing it myself puts me in the same position as people who I teach. So if I have uh, yeah, if I have good ideas, I can share it with them. They might have good ideas, but they share with me. So I feel like I I can learn from the people I teach, and they learn from me. So it is uh, it's actually really really good. The, the number one rule is that when you're stressed yourself, you shouldn't be trading. So then the question really becomes, how do you control your stress? And if you have a good process, if you have a good trading process, and you know what you're doing, and you have prepared, and you you know, trading then becomes executing a plan, and that's much easier. So you, the, the trade itself is only the last moment of the whole process. So beforehand, you need to do your research, you need to know what's going on in the world, you need to uh, understand the risk you are taking, you need to be ready from a psychological perspective, you need to make sure that you have an idea that not everybody has, and that, that's what we're teaching in, at, the, at the Trading Academy as well. Well, it's, 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 it's impossible, because even though you know, you can do everything right and you do, you do all your homework and everything just plays out as it, as it should be. Sometimes the, the currency or, or, or the stock is just not doing what it should do. So if someone says that they never lose money, it's just like, it, it's just not true. So you have to be very, very careful uh, when you encounter those situations. You know, a lot of good traders, um, you know, lose, lose money 50% of the time, um, but because of the, the, the money management, uh, the experience they are still able to overall make a profit but even those traders will not make a profit every day or every week or every month and some people can have you know be amazing traders and, and, and have a bad year as well the main thing in trading is that you're always going to be able to still trade the next day that's that's not an important rule but I think that there can be many many ways that, that, that you feel you can be overconfident about your trades you can not be confident enough about your trades uh, you can maybe not have enough uh, focus so there can be many many different reasons so you need to analyze when you do a trade what you did right what you did wrong and so only from going back to to, to your trading history can you uh, improve and that's what you need to do trading is not just gambling and saying oh i think this and let me just do this quickly uh, you need to really be prepared and you need to be uh, educated but i'll be very careful um, about most stock indices, IMAX is, 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 is the same. The, you know, it, it's being driven um, by the, the lack of yield on, on, on anything else. So the government, the 10-year government bond is like you know, trading at, at historical lows. And if you look at the underlying Spanish economy, it doesn't make that much sense. So I think at the moment that if you buy Spanish stocks, you're kind of bubble investing. You kind of, um, you know, there's not much else to do. Um, but you have to be very, very careful. So I'm not, uh, I, w I wouldn't recommend uh, any, any specific sectors. Um, but I would, you know, if, if, if someone said, would you rather buy or sell the Spanish index, I would still rather buy um, because, again, there's, there's no real alternative. But you have to be very careful. You need to use a, a closed stop. So you should mm -hmm. always, before you put on a trade, you need to know how much your, your maximum downside will be. Um, and the market will always be around tomorrow. So even if you lose a little bit of money today, if you keep uh, sticking to the discipline uh, over, over time, you should do okay. I think this, for, for choice at the moment, the stock market is, is probably still the place to be, uh, sectors that you want to be involved with, you know, there's, there, there's biotechnology stocks, with, with, you know, that, that whole space is totally changing, there's some amazing uh, cures for, for cancer uh, going on, so there's some, so, some, some small, well, they, they are actually, a lot of these companies are becoming quite large, but that's, that's an interesting sector. Um, there's a lot of artificial intelligence. Uh, people are being replaced by machines, so there's some very interesting robotic companies. Um, that's the kind of place uh, I would want to put my money. Um, the way I like to trade is, 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 is uh, you know, my own methodology is called five-step trading. First step is to have your own original ideas. If you just copy everybody else, it's unlikely that uh, you can outperform the other people, you just be one of the sheep. So you need to have your own ideas, something original, um, and you are an expert in something. So I always say focus on that. Then the second step is, is fundamental analysis. 
So even if you have a great idea about the company, you still want to um, make sure that you know the fundamentals of the company are correct. You know that that they you know that you understand the earnings that they make, that you understand how big the company is, that you understand uh, what sector it is in. So you need to know a little bit about it, the competition, etc. Um, the third step is technicals. So let's say you found a great idea and the company is amazing, but the stock has already gone up 10 or 20% in the last week. You know, you need to know. So the technical aspect um, within the five-step trading is primarily to get your timing right of when you buy the stock. And also, if, as important, when, when to sell the stock. So then the fourth step, you know, you found a great idea. The company is wonderful. You're buying it at the right price. If you uh, are psychologically not in the right frame of mind, so let's say you go through a divorce, something bad has happened, you probably still shouldn't trade. And then the fifth step is maybe the most important is risk management. So you have the best idea, the best stock, the best timing, you feel wonderful, you think this is gonna be the trade. If you then think, actually no, it, it's all so perfect, I put all my money onto this stock, um, it's still wrong because even if all the ducks are lined up, you can still, uh, it's, it can still go wrong. That's what trading is like. So those are the five steps. Um, and if you go, and if, if you go through those five steps, um, and I guarantee you that you have a huge chance of making money. The problem is not that each of these five steps is, um, is very hard, but to do all of them every time you trade is, is exceptionally difficult. Um, so if you can do that, if you have that discipline of sticking to the process, um, that's, that's, that's the best way to my money.